So just real quick, you guys, somewhere about 15 minutes on, it's the most frequent lightning I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes two or three lightning bolts per second. It was insane, absolutely insane. Um, enjoy. Hey, you guys, it's August 10th, 2021 still. Wait till you see what I just found. This cloud is shooting off lightning nonstop. So we're gonna drive over to it. It's pretty awesome. I think you guys will be stoked. I am. But that don't mean squat. As long as you guys are freaking happy. Um, but anyways, for those of you who really like this channel, please, please, please read like the community post that I just, just put up a little bit ago. Um, it's really heavy. It's really heavy. It's, it's regarding one of you guys, man. So just, uh, anyway. Whew. Okay, so. Oh, where the heck was this? I gotta get out of it. I'm, I'm, we're gonna get up here to North Shore. We're going to North Shore. Because this was absolutely incredible. It's just nonstop. The cloud is just a Christmas tree. So we're passing the stores. Look at how dead town is. There's no cars. Look at the grocery stores, guys. When do you guys see the grocery? I know it's late at night, but still. When do you see the parking lots this empty? Look at Stater Brothers, guys. I mean, for real? I mean, for real? For real? For real? All right. Here we go. We're getting into the darkness. You guys ready for this or what? You guys ready for this? I hope so. Look straight ahead. Okay, look. Just keep on looking straight ahead. Or like kind of like a oh boom look it's it, watch it's gonna just keep going we're gonna drive all the way out there look at that it's non-stop dude you guys can see that right over the mountain here on the left that's in the desert that's right on top of like the bottom of our mountain range here but it's just beautiful hang on a second okay light on this over here. It's incredible. We're going to go to Highway 18 on the backside. Oh my God, guys. Look at that. It's every second. We get into the, the dark. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. There's too many lights over here, man. This is BS. All right. All right, here we go. We are going this way for sure. I wish I could turn my lights off and drive, but that wouldn't be too kosher. So we're just going to keep this pointed out the window here. Um, that direction, because that's where all the light is coming from. OG fingers, man. I, I just cannot stop thinking about you, dude. We all love you, man. We all love you, bro. Alright. So, hang on. We're just going to get over here where it's a little bit, uh... Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was a cop. I'm not going too far. I'm going 44 and it's 40 miles an hour. So yeah, I was speeding. So I need to slow that down a little bit. Okay, look, this direction. Here we go. To the left, right out my driver's side window. Craziness. But those are trees now. Gosh. We're going to get into a more open visual area shortly, but this is absolutely unbelievable. It's kind of like a Midwest thunderstorm. It's really nice. But I've never seen anything like that up here. Where my dad lived in Georgia, there'd be huge, massive thunderstorms, and it was great. But, like, sometimes the sky was completely lit up nonstop, and you wouldn't hardly hear any thunder. It was crazy. I mean, nonstop. Just one bolt after the other, kind of like this going on here. As I say it, it stops momentarily, but I'm telling you, we're headed out in the right direction. This is out my window again, but we're looking at houses and stuff right here. Just 
just try to look above all of that and, and see all the flashing. The storm's getting naked. It's flashing. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. But hey, look who said it. Not too shocking. <laughs> Seriously. All right, guys. So we're on highway. Uh, right now, this is considered highway. 38 still yes this is highway 38 still but the reason that is is because uh, yeah it's because it is that's a pretty good reason alright so we're getting into darker territory once we get out into Baldwin guys it's going to be amazing so maybe at the beginning I'll do like a short little clip to tell you guys so you don't waste all your time but it's still look at that right behind the church here oh man Children crossing the street. I mean, come on. Get real. We got to capture the weather here. And clean the windshield. I know. They're cleaning. They're cleaning. Okay, so we're going to point out my window again. Because we're getting into darker areas out here. And, uh, yeah, we're not getting too good of a... You know what, just to save you guys some time, I'm gonna hit the stop button and I'll turn it back on once we get to Baldwin. All right, All right actually, you know what, forget it. I, I, I want you guys to get the real sensation of, uh, of, you know, how long it takes to do this. The full sensation. in excess or something like that. All right, look out to the left, guys. Here we go. Now there's no more houses. It should just be mountains and thunderstorms. And no more street lights. Yay. Okay, so I can't even see any clouds above these mountains, but they're just on the other side. And it's just lighting up the whole sky. You know what? Over here, we're entering Baldwin right now, too. Or like the whole Baldwin Lake area. Yeah, we're gonna have to get out here to, to Highway 18. But well, we're on Highway 18 now. Well, you know what, guys? We were. No, I think when I said we weren't on Highway, no, that we were on Highway 38. We really were. And then a block down once we passed Greenway, that's when it turned into Highway 18. If you want to maintain the direction on Highway 38, you need to take a. a, 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 a it's a minor detour. Um, you turn right on Greenway. There's there's plenty of signs, so no one misses it. But you have to turn right on Greenway and then left on Big Bear Boulevard, and then that part of Big Bear Boulevard turns into Highway 38. Pretty crazy, because that's Highway 18. That part of Big Bear. It's crazy, guys. I don't know what they were smoking up here, but must have been good. Wow, look at that blue light out there. That is really tripping my eyes out. You guys see that? that oh gosh guys here we go god i just want to turn off the lights just for like two seconds like pull up you know that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull over and then when i see a car coming up i'll turn my lights on and start going We have no pedestrians back here, no houses, nothing. So I'm just kind of going. The speed limit is 55 right here anyway, and I'm only doing 55, so. All right, right around this corner, hopefully we should see a bunch of clouds lighting up this corner here. Yep, there it was. Look at that, straight ahead, straight ahead. Wow. Oh my God, I have to pull over. I'm gonna have an orchid. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. That was, that, that was, you know, that was my quick wit. <laughs> I don't know what was witty about it, but look at all that lightning. This is absolutely unbelievable. I knew if I came over here, we'd be, 
we'd get stoked out, guys. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, we're, we're not gonna hit that one. Thought we'd be able to make that stop right there. Isn't that insane? Doesn't it look like bombs are dropping? soon guys we're getting closer this is badass man there's a car coming up on me fast and I'm kind of hauling ass uh, that's usually the sign that that's a that's the popo Johnny La Johnny Logs come to play all right let's see here straight ahead we should get some good oh there it is Awesome, this lightning. Okay, so we're about to leave town now. We're off. So here's town. Or, well, that's not town, that's Baldwin, and then way out there is town. Alright, guys. Oh my god, that cloud is unbelievably beautiful. We're almost there. We are almost to the site where we're gonna be up here at 7,000 looking out on the desert at that cloud. How awesome is that, guys? And I knew there'd be people here. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Yep, there are. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, look at that, it's right there. We're just gonna have to park it here for a moment. So, th so we're looking out on the desert right now, you guys. A lot of you who have fear of heights would be terrified when it's daytime looking down at this. But we're just looking right across at the clouds. We're basically at eye level. Isn't that amazing, you guys? I'm gonna zoom in for a moment. What's that? respect for your life to the court. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh 
Obviously, I'm not zoomed in. But look at that. It's spectacular. Oh my god. It's just mesmerizing. We're above the clouds, guys, for the most part. It seems like it. We're just looking out into the desert at these thunderstorms. It's amazing. Oh my god, it's over there now. What? What? Oh my god, that was a big one to the right of us. Was, I, I could see the bolt, so we're going to point that direction for a little bit, too. It's unreal. got to catch one of these big ones to the right man the ones here on the right are less frequent but they're massive These people are done getting laid, they're out of here. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. This is making me randy, baby. <laughs> it's like an aphrodisiac. I don't know what it is about the weather. You guys can see them. Look at there. Look at all these stars. We're like, and then I'm turning back towards the towards the storms down below us. I mean, what an interesting perspective, guys. We're not like, we're not like. I mean, we're looking straight at it, straight across. 
and a lot of the lightning is going way below us, obviously. It's amazing. Look at that. Oh my God. Guys, when do you see lightning below you? Except for when you're on a plane. Oh my God, to the right. We just got the big one to the right. That was sick. But we're gonna have to go back here to the show. Oh my God. Let's zoom in again. That was pretty cool. I'm going all the way in. <laughs> I'm really not bitter, you guys. There's a big rush of people coming up here. There's more going on to the right now. There's gotta be something popping off to the right here in a second. We're just gonna keep it on the right. Oh, come on. I'm almost tempted to go drive into it, but we'll never get views like this because we have to go down the mountain for that, which isn't our problem, but I'm always happy to do that stuff for you guys. But honestly, if I thought we'd get better footage doing that, I would, but this is absolutely spectacular. I, I, I mean, I really don't think you guys might know what you're looking at. I mean, this is insane. We're like looking kind of down on these storms. <laughs> and seeing the light from above and below. It's just so cool. Oh my God. Next car that comes, we're out of here. Oh, that was to the right. That was one to the right. See, I told you those ones are freaking fat.
or pointed straight out to the right, the area that the huge lightning bolts, I can hear them, they're getting closer. might catch some of the stuff to the left a little bit, but I really want to catch one of these big ones on the right. I mean, guys, look at that. It's like sometimes two or three per second and then we'll go a few seconds without one, and then another one, and then another one. This is crazy. Wow, I saw that bolt. Okay, I'm looking to the right now, once again. It's been enough time, there should be another big ass lightning bolt coming through right now. Pardon my language. Big booty lightning bolt. I'm, I'm just gonna point it back where it's really going off because this is killing me. I'm not gonna get to see this too often, you guys. This is very, I don't think it's that rare, but to catch one with this much frequent lightning is pretty cool. And in Southern California, kind of rare, but oh my God. So <clears throat> when I'm looking out here to the left and then looking out here to the right, we're probably looking at like 70 miles, 70 miles difference. Oh, there it was to the right. That's the one to the right. Yeah, baby. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the normal one, the regular one popping off. He's got no respect. Wow, see that's the top of the cloud, dude. Like how insane is that? All right, let's get out of here. I just can't leave right now. This is so awesome. Wow, all these people are so lucky they're driving down there right now. They're probably not thinking that, but they are. Maybe get smashed with some some hail. I'll just have a great time. That's what I want. Listen, you hear the thunder now. From the storm on the right. This one's closer to us, I think. I'm hearing the... Oh my god, that lightning bolt was sick. Oh my gosh, you saw that, right? That was gnarly. That was gnarls Barkley. Oh. Oh my God. Glad there aren't any people here that would be embarrassing myself. What a dork I am. to the right should be going off right about now. So we're gonna aim it over here. All zoomed in. 
because that's going to be bad, eh? Come on, baby. Come on. Give me some love. Oh, the one in front of us gave us a lot of love. I saw like three bolts shooting everywhere from that one. That's unfortunate we missed that. Damn. Show me again. Come on. Do it again. Absolutely nutty. All right. I think it's still just it's still just weird to me that we're we're like looking down on it, kind of. <laughs> it's crazy. It's almost like the camera's upside down, but it's really not. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Okay, the one to the right, here it comes, here it comes. Five, four, three. It really did hit right there, but it wasn't as big as I wanted it to be. That didn't sound too kosher. <laughs> okay, getting back to the main one here, and then we're out of here. Jeez, that was way below us. Look at that. Look at how far down below us that is. All right, so... We're going to go. Thank you guys for joining me. We'll do one more lightning strike and then we're out. That was the one. Well, we'll do, we'll wait for a good one here. I know I'm getting greedy. I should just be grateful for what I got and get make like a hockey team and get the puck out of here. All right. We're off. Just awesome guys what an awesome night this was I mean for for like weather stuff but in another way one of the worst nights ever you guys I just want you guys to know I love you guys a lot man I, I love you guys so much and when you guys are hurting it really does hurt me and especially when you guys go through stuff that I couldn't even imagine I wouldn't want to at oh my god so just just be supportive of each other you guys please 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 be there for each other on this channel um please like I, I don't, you know there's there's such a big opportunity here for us to not have to hurt in life when things come punching us in the face we don't have to hurt as much if we have each other so watch the road here so i was going to go through baldwin but we're going to be stuck behind this guy going like two miles an hour so we're just going to haul butt back around so we should see the little the frequent light up over the mountain right here from the storm we were just looking at but we're not gonna we already kind of played that out but how cool is that guys i mean seriously like like how freaking cool is that we were able to do and that was like that was like hundreds of lightning bolts. Like how cool is that? In just 15 minutes, like, just unbelievable. Those people down underneath them, that must have been cool. You know, that must have been really neat. Um, anyway, and no, that's not wait, that's not the H on my freaking chin there. I had a little zit and I tried to pop it and like it, it, it just wouldn't. And I kept messing with it. Just kept messing with it. Kept messing with it. But it's definitely, it's, it's, it's not the herbs. <laughs> I'm not lucky enough. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's my story and I am sticking to it. Oh my God. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that guy was like, 
Okay, he's looking at the storm too. Okay, so look, this is where the storm is now in respect to where we are back here, behind me, kind of. And this mountain just, just twists and turns you around. But anyway, you can see over San Gorgonio straight ahead, there's a little lightning. That was awesome too. So we're driving along Baldwin Lake, which is this whole thing. All the lights you see at the end, that would be lakefront property if Baldwin had lake year, had lake year around, had a lake, had water in the lake year around. Or, oh my gosh. If it was full year around. Oh jeez. Apparently it used to be full. This whole valley used to be full. When they when they first started. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have I, None of you are gonna watch this till this far, but those of you who do, dude, a friend of mine, so we went on a Harley ride, right? Like four or five of us guys. And we stopped at the dam, and one of my friends knows that area pretty good. And so we just, we crossed the street and like kind of like shimmied our way down below the dam. It's freaking humongous, you guys. It's way bigger than I ever imagined. It, it felt like we were at like Lake Mead. It was crazy, but what really pissed me off, guys, there's there's a running river that they let out worth of water constantly, 24 seven. So next time I go there, and I'm gonna make it soon, I'm gonna record it for you guys so you guys can see why our lake is never full. I never knew about this. I know they do release water to help Redlands with their irrigation and stuff like that, but this is ridiculous. I mean, it's, guys, it's it, it's a white water river at the dam that they let out. Just it's it's just a constant flow. I could not believe it. I I, I just really could not believe it. Um, so that's where all our water is going. Um, let's you know it, it's not about drought. It's not about this. That's where all the water is going. I mean it's just ridiculous. Redlands can get their own water now. And I think they actually, and I'm, I'm just joking about that. If we can help them, of course we will. But, you know, I mean, there has to be some critical thinking that has been done or, or, or regarding that issue because, I mean, it's just, it's, for me, it's pretty simple. Full lake, full economy. That's, that's, that's the way I see it. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, it leads me to believe that money's going places that it shouldn't be going up here and into pockets that it shouldn't be going. I don't know because it, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. That's my, that's my political big bear thing. So someday I might run up here for, for something, just, uh, just something so I can contribute instead of running my mouth all the time, why not do something? So, hence, um, I've, I've, I've really considered it. And uh, I'd have to give myself a few more years to really get myself well known up here. But imagine that, Mayor Nick. <laughs> How funny would that be? That would be hilarious, man. I would love that. That would be great. It's all right, it's all right, all right. She knows things differently. All right. So yeah, this is just a, a kind of a perspective of how long it takes to get back. And by the way, we just passed where Highway 18 that we've been driving on since we were watching the frequent lightning turned into highway 38 so now we're on highway 38 and it isn't great but now I'm really looking at the signs on the side of the road just to see if I'm actually right about this <laughs> Red 
rhetoric from down the hill is moving up here. Do you guys see some of those signs? <laughs> it's, it's like, dude, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it up here. I don't, I don't happen to have any disdain for my, my place of living. I just try to work hard and not complain. I know you guys do too. I mean, why don't they just put up signs everywhere that, that say like, we're against murder. Cause it's like, duh, <laughs> you know? Duh. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Um. <laughs> do, do. Um. Common sense does not run rampant in my beautiful home state. It's actually non-existent in most places in my home state. Anyway, that's enough of that crap. Sorry, I just like, you know, hate seeing things saying like, stop all this when there's not any of that going on. It's, it's like, well, come on, man. It's like, you, you just want to create a problem because you need attention. And uh, don't give it to me. Guys, live your lives good and charitable and loving and how you guys are. Stop listening to the news. Don't watch any news. Don't, um, or I, I mean, or you know, news slash opinion pieces, kind of synonymous these days. Um, so just it, it, if you guys want a happy life, I don't care what side of the aisle you are because because I can't stand either side. I just hope that you guys are happy people because that's all you need to worry about. Who cares about what the people around you think? And, and and all the victimization and victimhood that they love to live in. Like, like dude, just just live your own life. Don't, don't let it get to you. Um, you guys are awesome people. I love you guys a lot. I love you guys more than, more than anything. You guys are my family. And so, I love you guys. Thank you for everything, all the support. The comments you guys leave are so unbelievably beautiful. Um, it's it's just beautiful, you guys. And very, 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 very rarely do we get a comment that just rocks everyone's world. And we got that tonight. And OG Fingers, once again, man, I love you, bro. And I just, I just wish you and your family, especially your parents, dude. I wish them, oh my God, like the, the most, the most... <sighs> just peaceful transition through grief that can possibly happen. I, I'm just, I am so sorry. I love you guys very much. This is not fair. But anyway, I'm not, I'm, and I, and, and when I say not trying to like bring down the tone, I'm not saying that that's a downer. I, I just, it, it's just really, 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 really hard. And I just want you guys to, to just be there for this dude. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. And I don't want him to hurt. I know that's a, a, a part of this type of a process. It's inevitable. It's impossible to not hurt. But the possibilities come when the limitations can be put on it. When you can, you know, breathe deep enough think deeply enough and just man I, we're all here with you bro we all love you bro i want you to know that all the love and light that we can possibly muster up man anything we can do for you anything we can do for you once again man we all love you and we're all here for we're all here for you and each other Thank you.
thanks again everybody for uh for enjoying this video <clears throat> that was one of the greatest lightning storms i've ever seen but i live in california so those of you in like monsoon season parts of arizona and stuff like that and you know hurricane or yeah well not hurricane season the thunderstorm season in late spring summertime through the midwest and tornado alley right there like you guys probably laugh at this <laughs> you know you're like that's frequent lightning i've been struck 10 times what are you talking about um yeah we're, we're not blessed with that much uh in terms of thunderstorms where we are because we just don't have the humidity we don't have the humidity um until we get the monsoon and the humidity comes from the gulf of mexico so um but yeah guys i appreciate everything you guys are absolutely amazing I love you guys very much and please 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 just pray for our friend og fingers or if if you don't pray do what you do to like to like try to think of happy things for other people i love you guys a lot i hope you have a wonderful night and yeah, i'm a little bit tired but uh i love you guys thanks again